Okay, this is a 1 million percent do not try this at home activity. In here I have uh, some wonderful Babcock bottles or vials and I'm trying to balance the weight of the centrifuge here for when I add the actual vial which contains the milk. Okay, there is 17.6 milliliters exactly of milk in here and in this 93% pure sulfuric acid, uh, I will add to this milk in exactly 17.6 milliliters as well. Okay, for the pouring, I will be using these gloves. For the spinning, I will be using the intense forearm gloves because if any of these break, uh, specifically the one with the sulfuric acid, it's not going to be a good time. So, I will pipe at very gently the poison. And if I splash it on myself, this video will abruptly end. Oh, ooh. Let me see that mask. Oh, yeah. Oh. These aren't the very greatest pipe best. There's nine. Okay, very slowly, I will be adding this. I don't know if this eats my gloves. I really hope not. Now, the reaction taking place with the sulfuric acid and the milk is such that the proteins and anything else other than the fat are dissolved by the sulfuric acid, um, allowing the fat to flow to the top once we centrifuge it. So 17.6, ooh, right there. Oh God, obviously this isn't as accurate as I'd like it to be. This reaction will also be exothermic, meaning this bottle is gonna get hot. I don't want to add too much at once, or I shall die. Now, you can see the different layers. I will very slowly mix this. The anxiety is at the highest. Oh God. Oh God. I've dropped some sulfuric acid on the bench and it is literally sizzling. There we go, it's turned black. Oh my God, that's hot, jeez. That is crazy. Okay, now that it's fully somewhat mixed in, I will place it in the centrifuge. And here we go, cap on, sulfuric acid away. Now we spin for five straight minutes. Nice and easy. Okay, we have spun for five minutes. Let's find the no. Nope. Do do do. Okay. Here it is. Still intact. Oh god. Nothing too dangerous yet. We need to add some hot water just until we're in about a quarter inch from the bottom of the neck of this bottle. I'm trying to tilt this away from my face. Oh my God, it is burning my hand. It needs to go back. No. Nope. And now we spin for an additional three minutes.
Okay, it's been three minutes. Should probably wait for that to stop before I touch. Now, um, we need to add just a little bit more water, but this time the water is not over 180 degrees Fahrenheit. It is between 135 and 140 Fahrenheit. And that's to ensure that I am not melting the fat in the milk or whatever the solution is now. Uh, so we can actually identify it. So all I need to do is fill the water up into this column uh, so that we can read it after what will be another five minutes spin. Now I will place it back in and we will spin for another five minutes. These necks are actually so tiny that nothing comes out when you tip it upside down or almost nothing. The surface tension alone uh, keeps it sealed. Okay, five minutes we go. Okay, let's take this out and have a look. Okay, so here's the final result. Below that black mass is water. Above the black mass is fat. Um, I believe some of the black mass is possibly also fat or proteins. I'm not entirely sure. But the point is, now we must measure this. So to read this, you go with some calipers and you measure from top to bottom of the fat and any other layer. And then you go down to zero and you read it. So this seems to be 2.4% of fat. This was uh, whole milk at 3.25%. So either they're lying or I didn't uh, do things exactly perfect. I also didn't use distilled water. Uh, it helps to use, uh, you know, super clean ingredients in your experiment. Anyways, that's how you would read this. If I put more water and it was up here, you would just set the caliber as so and then reset down to zero. Now they make these uh, all the way up to 8% here, but uh, there are other bottles of similar style for skim milk and for ice cream, which is a much higher milk fat. They even have um, centrifugal tests for proteins and things like that. All hand crank, all from that exact era. Either way, I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next one.